everybody, this is Dan from iPad Jailbreak and Jailbreak Zone. I don't know if everybody noticed today that uh, the, the featured page had a, a little new icon there. It doesn't show it for me anymore. Um, but on the featured page, uh, Cydia was updated to have uh, some, some featured tweaks for you know photography tools, uh, Safari add-ons. And uh, I was going to go through the 10 tools to start with, this top one here, for a, for a jailbroken iPhone or iPad. Uh, these are the most popular free products on Cydia besides a... Uh, the only non-free one that's on, on here is, a, is iFile, it's a shareware, it's $4. Uh, but anyway, I'll go, go ahead and run through all these. Uh, I'll start with Activator by Ryan Petrich. This is, this is probably my most used tweak here. Um, it's, it's available for, uh, for free, and it, it allows you to access different, different uh, apps or tweaks with the press of a button. I just hold my finger on the top of the, multi, of the status bar, and it'll pull up uh, multi-flow for me. Let me run into activator here. So from anywhere, anywhere on my phone, if I hold, if I double tap the status bar, it's going to bring up my overboard. As you can see. Let me go back to activator. So now, if I hold, if I hold down on the status bar, as I showed you, it's going to bring my multi-flow up. If I swipe down, you can set that up to do whatever you want, but I have it set to, to bring my gravity board up. So if I put my finger on the status bar and bring it down, it brings up, up my gravity board here. That's a pretty nice tweak, uh, not much to it, uh, and it's useful for just about anything that you can think of. I mean, you can set up an app to open, or you can have a calculator pop up, or, or I mean, there's a timer bar that you can set up that way too. Uh, go to the next one, Action Menu. This is also by Ryan. It gives you more uh, more options when you're when you're copying, pasting, and when you're in Notepad, and um, it just it just has more options available to you when you're when you're looking to, to edit text or make a phone call or anything like that. So if I say if I select a word here, well, I have the option to dial. I mean, it brings up all the options that are available on the iPhone. So let's say I select that word. Now I have the option to copy, copy all. I can go to the top or bottom. If I hit that little dash, I can see all my options here. Well, let's say that I select, I select that much text. It just gives me these options. And one of them is... One of your options is to upgrade. And this tweak has also a, a few paid add-ons you can get. You can get the plus pack that adds a few more, you know, you're able to tweet, pull up a history, and then you can also get some rich text editing for your mail, which is an upgrade from Ryan Petrich for uh, $4.99. So the next one is called Five Icon Doc. Now this one allows you to have five icons on your dock, and I have it set up that way right now. Uh, you install the tweak and it puts five it allows you to add a fifth icon to your dock so so beforehand when you have four uh, you'll be able to put a fifth one on there and, and it'll allow you to do that with the, with this with this tweak currently I use a different tweak um, I use spring demise which is an, another paid paid application and it allows you to if you go into your dock you can set how many you want to have in your dock you can just turn that on and I can have up to I guess up to ten items in my dock so I use that I use that instead of this tweak but you know this this one costs two ninety nine, I believe the next one's called iFile it's a, it's a gives you access to your entire the file manager and viewer and you can you can go in there and you can go into your root uh, you can go navigate through your iPhone file system um, HTML Microsoft this is four dollars it's a share it's a shareware kind of program um, I've used it a few times uh, through a tutorial to add um, to add the ability to see features that that Apple has turned off. The fifth one I guess we're up to is manual autocorrect or ma manual correct instead of autocorrect. It's by Aaron Lindsay, and this is another free tweak that's available. And instead of of the uh, of the iPhone automatically replacing your text when you hit the space bar, you'll have the option to add that text whether you'd like to or not instead of having it automatically done. So if I type a word and I misspell it here, 
Yeah, it gives me the suggestion of the word there. If I push the space bar, it leaves that word there. If I if I decide that I want it, I push I, I select the word instead of it automatically replacing it. Before you had to, if you didn't want to use it, you had to hit the X on there to, to get rid of it. Now you don't have that option. Instead, you have to you have to actually select the word to get it to, to, to replace it. Jump down to the sixth tool. It's called MX Tube. Uh, this one adds a new icon to your uh, to your iPhone. It allows you to download uh, iPhone or download YouTube videos and watch them later on your iPhone. Ask you to donate. So I can go out there and look for a phone or look for a video. So if I find the video that I want, I can stream it or I have the option to download it. So I can select it's like download it and I can watch it later or I can stream it uh, just like you would in, in YouTube normally. This next tweak is called uh, Quick Reply for SMS and it gives you the ability from anywhere in your phone to auto re to, to reply instead of just having the option to view or uh, close when, the, uh, when a pop-up window comes up. So I have the option to reply to my wife from this text message just right in this in this app so I can reply Hit send, and I'm right back to where I was. And it just sent my message. So it's really handy. Uh, SB settings. Another tweak that I use a lot, and this one's free as well from Big Boss. Uh, I have it set up on my activator, which was the first tweak we talked about. Uh, a left swipe on my status bar will pull it up. I have the ability to access my fast notes, to get into my data, turn my Bluetooth on and off, my uh, airplane mode, uh, 3G mode, Wi-Fi on and off. If access to a uh, respring and hit your dock, refresh, and kill the power on your on your iPhone, all from your SB settings. So from anywhere on the iPhone, you can just run your have it set up on the activator however you like to pull up your SB settings. Now we're to the ninth tweak. This one's called Spring Flash. Allows you to turn on your LED flash from uh, from act from basically from the activator. You can set up an activation method so that you can have your LED light come on whenever you need it, without having to have a separate app to do that. So I go into my activator here. I can change one of my. So instead of a double tap uh, pulling up my overboard, I can have it pull up my spring flash. So now when I double tap on the on the bar you can see my my light came on and it turns it off the next one's called winter board and it uh, gives you the ability to customize your and apply themes to your iPhone um, as if you noticed before on a lot of my other videos I had a, a theme set up on it um, there's lots of different Themes you can have set up on here. So after I made my changes, I'm going to respring my phone. All right, now I have my new theme applied. Instead of having a slider, I have a little lock button here to open my phone up. And you can see all my uh, customized icons. My in the, the the more common ones like this winning pong that I downloaded. I, I think I did a review on it a couple days ago or maybe yesterday. That one that doesn't have a custom icon, but the weather icon, the photos, the calendar is all on a theme based on carbon blue is what it's set up for. So the clock, you can see that uh, 
a few of a few of the icons don't have that set up. A lot of the games that aren't more, played as much don't have it, like the World of Goo or Collision Effect. Like the iTunes has their own has their own specially designed icon. And that was the ten tweaks that are recommended by a by a city or they're featured to, to start with with your jailbroken iPhone. Uh, hopefully these were a good enough review to give you a good feel for what they're about. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them on the uh, on the comments page for the for the YouTube video. Uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter at Jailbreak uh, Zone, and appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe to our videos. Thanks.